So, hi, good morning. Um, there's a phenomenon in the group, high demand group cult world called association, which I've talked about before. And it's a thing where you are forced to override your own feelings and experiences in order to maintain good standing with the group. And uh, what's interesting now is I'm, I'm, I'm having these early feelings, these memories of really early on in my experiences with the group, and I'm realizing that I had feelings about it. Feelings means I had some kind of con conflicted, embarrassed, ashamed feeling where I was like, I didn't like it and I didn't have access to being able to choose to express myself, one, or two, to just get the fuck out. And it connects with my family too. So, when I first got into the group, there was so many beautiful, there, were, it was, there was a lot of beautiful things. Okay, prayer is beautiful in any form. I mean, unless it's, I don't know. In its pure form, it's beautiful. Whatever beseeching, devotional, loving thing that is. Um, the chanting we did was beautiful. The chanting the names of God, invoking, creating a holy space, sacredness, uh, the beauty of the place. Um, Sufism, Islam in general, beautiful, right? And we had a private little house and we did private things in it. My first experience of being really embarrassed Ah, oh, this is so interesting. Was uh, going to see, of all fucking things, George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars in the, in the parking lot of the SIU arena. It was, I'll bet it was 88, uh, 98. Maybe 99. It was, it was cold. It was probably an April thing where in Southern Illinois, it's suddenly 51 and rainy, and you're like, what the hell, right? And um, <clears throat> what I remembered is this feeling of like, we were in a group and we all followed Dean around very closely. And um, freaking George Clinton is on stage and they're playing. And I remember this, and I had this feeling for good or for worse of being completely intertwined with this group of people and we were all gathered together and so it's like it's it's this devotional thread but also this pressure like you can't not if you kind of go off and do your own thing it just it just doesn't work like it's there was this whole feel, feeling of being that you had to follow it's really hard to explain and it was fine as long as <clears throat> for me, uh, what happened is that Dean started doing started doing these sort of chanty Sufi movements um, according to the um, music, with the music. It was sort of a dancing thing, but it was also sort of an inside insider joke. And then all the people started to do it because if he did it, you also did it. And then all the people started it. And then I felt, I felt like inside I had no option but to do it. And so I'm like doing it because of all the layers of fear and control. But now looking back 20 years ago, I'm like, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Wow. But I wasn't supposed to be embarrassed because that was an attachment or that was worrying about what other people thought or all those things, but I was embarrassed. Why was I embarrassed? And why didn't I have access to the thing that went like, this is weird, no. Can I just enjoy this band? <laughs> and the second one was even more impactful because for some reason, my brother and my father were there. And the whole, all the Sufis went to the, oh my God, this is painful. We all went to the Cobden Apple Festival. And so my brother and my dad were there and I was, and we were all following Dean around 
from one thing to the next, just following like a little ducks, like little ducklings. But my brother and my dad were there and I couldn't, this was the beginning of the separation from family because I, I couldn't really fully engage with them because I had this anxious thing that I was doing. This like duck, I had this duckling thing that I was doing and I was embarrassed, but I couldn't consciously admit it to myself and I was embarrassed in front of them and I was also not there for them. And, and I had to kind of watch them watch me follow this guy around and my dad, I could tell my dad was embarrassed or confused, but going along with it. And my brother, I don't know what he thought, but there was the beginning of a separation where they, you could just tell they were like, what the, what, what, what's going on? And I think that they, they both knew that I had been through a lot of hard shit and we're just kind of like, I guess they were very forgiving and like, I guess he needs this, but there was a gap. And that's the beginning of the gap. Very interesting, huh?